Turning to other news, Today it appears that another Dallas Cowboys... Je 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 Suis pas sur le bateau, who is in the Swiss Gloss? What's going on? Coverage continues with our own Jody Ritter. I'm standing outside the upper room on Sunset in Hollywood. This nondescript location is the hottest ticket in town, seating limited to a mere 13 guests. 60s muscle cars, pickup trucks, and Jeeps have replaced traditional status symbols for this nouveau grunge bunch of surfers and fishermen, with one notable exception. Let's go to the video. Earlier this evening, I had the chance to talk to Judas as he arrived dressed in a Sterling Vincente original. Is it true about you and Julia Roberts? No, no, we're just friends. What about the reported rift between you and Jesus over the woman in the jar of oil? Well, as treasure, I really felt it could have helped the poor, that's all I'm saying. Okay, what about reports that you may have been leaving soon to start your own organization? Look, tonight's about Jesus, it's not about me. I just came here to honor him, maybe score some Thai food with my good friends. We're back live. You've heard what Judas wants. It's probable that the likes of Amadeus Pug, caterer to the stars, will be cooking up something special for what has been dubbed the Last Supper. Hey, all I'm saying is the girl can talk, okay? Virgin birth? Mm-mm. You know what, maybe y'all can try to with them Jewish guys, but with a brother? I don't think so. If the election were held today, independent candidate Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the former carpenter and cabinet maker, is the overwhelming favorite among these students and first-time voters. Let's get right to the question that's been plaguing this campaign since day one. Namely, when is Jesus going to officially enter this race? Well, Ed, he feels strongly that he's here for the people, you know, and as such, he wants a grassroots campaign and a write-in vote. Let me approach it another way. He has said on several occasions that my kingdom is not of this world. If elected, what confidence do the voters have that he will serve? My brother is one of those 60s people that speaks in very idealistic terms. But I think it would be fair to say that if, if it were offered, he'd take it. They see Jesus as, I have not come to abolish the laws, but to fulfill them, as radical reform, disguised in political rhetoric. Precisely, Ed. You know, I think I speak for my mother and the rest of the family in saying that that kingdom is long overdue. If there is something at the end of the rainbow, fine, but, you know, let's grab that brass ring now. I was here when the Yankees won the World Series, and this is much bigger. This is like... Macy's Day Parade and the Gay Pride Parade all rolled into one. Rigo, Igushin, Estoy aquí a las afueras del río donde... Marketing genius of Judas Iscariot. Jesus, who was cast in a hero spotlight, makes his first appearance without him, just a stone's throw away. And let me tell you, you can feel the excitement. Since I heard someone say that Judas looked a bit subdued, but I'm thinking he just looked, you know, tired. <laughs> the big lug. Bless Virgin Mary. Anyways, Jesus tore out of there quicker than a big buck on the first day of the hunting season. Word is, Jesus is just about to pass over. How do you respond to that, Senator? Well, frankly, I, I think Jesus is a bit of a dreamer, more suited to a university than the White House. I would say he's a visionary. and After eight years of Clinton... I... Okay, what kind of vision does he have for the military? Love thy neighbor? Sounds like he wants to abolish it to me. It's conceivable Jesus could single-handedly heal everyone. Uh, you could give him a couple of fish to end world hunger. Well, sometimes I hear two loaves and two fishes. Other times I hear five loaves and ten fishes. I mean, who the hell knows? I mean, maybe he had it catered. In another Hard Story exclusive, we have Jesus caught on tape. As you can see, that's Jesus in the dark shades and baseball cap, standing on sunset, talking to a prostitute. He has been seen numerous times in the Fairfax district in spirited conversations with rabbis. He seems to think things are temporal. He wants to wait for his father's kingdom. Sounds very... Very vague to me. It does sound a little vague. A little like Jerry Brown, Pie in the Sky, or Ross Perot in a Paranoid Kick. I mean, what is this about, I am the lamb? Look, I never said he was running a perfect campaign. I mean, I've talked to Joe Jr. on a number of occasions, and I've told him if Jesus is worried, he should hire security. Go around predicting his own demise and not lift a finger to do anything about it? It's foolhardy. So I'm just standing there drinking a soda, and this guy says to me, can I have a drink? So I say, are you talking to me? Because it occurred to me maybe he didn't know what I was. But he said, I know who you are. And he starts to tell me all the men I've been with. 
So I say, that's going to be a long list, baby. You better run along and get your own drink. It may have become a major rift in Camp Jesus. So I start to give him a dollar, and he says, I can offer you living water. So I say, okay, baby, look, what do you really want? Tell me, Bucky, what happened here last night? Well, Steve, I'm sitting here having a few with this guy named Judas. So get this. He says, if you knew who I was and my father who sent me. So I say, now we're getting to it. Your daddy gave you money for me and you lost it. He spent months lining up corporate sponsors like Nike, American Express, IBM, Coca-Cola. <laughs> Jesus, just rebuked him. Nobody likes to get rebuked, Bucky. Yeah, I'd say. Well, you got to understand, in the moment, I thought he was a freak. I mean, one minute he's begging for a f drink, and the next he tells me he's got water. He's got no money, yet claims if I knew his father, I just told him, go f yourself. Come back if you get some money. Jesus, at the dinner table, says someone is going to try to kill him. And he basically accuses Judas of being the one. No, but that doesn't surprise me. There's something about that guy. I says, Judas, <laughs> you wouldn't really think of doing a thing like that, would you? Excuse me, Bucky. He was really trying to give me something important. What do you think that was? Now, I'm not saying I believe this, but when he was putting the rap on me about the water, I said, you're just like every other man. They think they're God's gift to women. And? He said, I who speak to you am he. I mean, you had to be there to see his face. But he was serious. The poor you will always have. Was saying that a mistake? Well, I think it was, Ted. But you know, he came right back with, uh, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom. So I think the damage was minimal. What about the senator's comment that there's a certain vagueness when he speaks? I think that hurt him. I would I say mean, that it served him very well. I mean, it covers a multitude of sins. It's kind of like rope-a-dope in boxing. Every time one of his opponents thinks they've got him cornered, he comes up with this, your father, my father, you don't know him, if only you knew me, and that stuff plays very well in the South. Party! What kind of water? Peter Stiles! Oh, you can lamb all vitamin plus! To link himself up with David plays very well with the military and with veterans groups. Gore scored a big one when he said, I knew David, and you're no David. Harriet, this appears to be yet another contradiction. Uh, a king without a kingdom and someone who has at times claimed homosexuality is an abomination. It yeah. does seem a bit confusing, but strategically, I think it could well be a winner. Uh, isolation polls show that among women, Jesus holds a whopping 75 percent of... Yesterday's ticker tape parade for Jesus was the largest ever in New York history. Conversely, he does not fare well with white men, and this is not apt to change regardless of his sexual preferences. Despite his popularity, his sexuality is a topic for much discussion. His brother Joe Jr. admitted that Jesus never had a girlfriend and hangs around talking to a lot of Romans. East Orange, New Jersey woman has filed suit against Jesus. It seems Jesus saw her husband, who was crippled, sitting outside a public pool begging. When asked point blank if Jesus was gay, Thomas said, I don't really know, but I doubt it. Court documents filed early this morning, Jesus healed the man simply by saying, go and sin no more. The suit claims that all the man does now is hang around the house bothering his wife. She says, quote, at least before he had some place to go. NNN has just reported that a routine search for Jesus' birth certificate shows that he was actually born outside of the United States and smuggled into the country. The woman is quoted as saying, really, all I want are things back the way they were.